Hey guys, I wish I had a better visual. I, it's funny, I was just listening to a few videos, I just woke up, um, about Hunter, Candace, Grandis, and um, I just heard someone say that Candace told someone that Jose was Hunter's real father. I thought Ernie Shell was his father. I don't know who's who, honestly. But that Jose, who is this guy, I don't know if he's Hunter's father. I just heard that. I have no idea. I wasn't there. I don't know who these people really are. There's Everything keeps changing. But I just heard that Jose was um, going after Allie's daughter. Now... A whole bunch of people that are pervs, perverts, as as you say, um, child traffickers, were at the Wells family. Allie's, Allie's family was up there with her kids. And um, I'm... Oh, oh, sorry, guys. I don't... I feel like I shouldn't even make this video. I mean, I want to use pictures and stuff, you know? I don't want to just have a blank wall. I mean, that's just not exciting to watch, you know? But I just feel like speaking sometimes about this case. Now, I find it so shocking that Candace Wells is walking. And I think the reason that she's free, unlike all these other people whose children went missing, no bodies have been found, and yet they're all in jail. Now, maybe they belong in jail. Maybe they um, did do it. Uh, but why is Candace not responsible for her own daughter? Just why is Candace Bly Wells not responsible for her own daughter? And I also earlier watched just this crazy video of all these people praying to Jesus and rebuking Satan and the well, the Candace and Don are in there and this god awful singing's going on. There's all these people. We don't know what kind of mother you are. You could, we weren't there. You could be not a bad mother. We don't know. Well, you, you're not a bad mother. Like trying to, this group of weird people trying to convince Candace and Don that they weren't bad or something. Oh my friggin' God. And all I could think of was that that entire group of people were also selling their kids and part of a big trafficking scheme. That's what I came to the conclusion. The whole goddamn area sells their kids for cheap. Tennessee is known for selling their kids cheap. And so, and you you don't think drug addicts want their drugs? You, they don't think, they don't, look, when your me brain is messed up on drugs, you're not thinking how much you love your daughter. You're thinking, how can I get my next fix? And as the brain destro gets destroyed further and further with the drug addiction, less and less do you, do the drug, does the drug addict care about their children. And more and more do they care about the drugs and the child just becomes something to sell. That group of people, all I could think of was they must all be doing it too for them to think this is okay. You know what I'm saying?